Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. This is part three of the DIY filter comparison, and this is the five-stage airlift to a tray system, and unfortunately last week's loser. It lost again to the hob, uh, but at least I got a few votes. I mean, the rolling drum filter uh, got a half-pity vote, and that's really quite unfortunate, uh, but again, this is being eliminated. And I thought I would give you guys a quick update on this. This is... The river's flow hob with the planter aspect and it is doing really well. So this is a couple weeks in from when I did the the original uh, footage for this and you can see there's a lot more roots in here now and also four really good uh, branches coming up here. So it's got uh, five uh, aluminum plants growing in this now and I see little bits and pieces of buds for more that are coming out. And at some point, of course, I'm going to have to start pruning this. And the pulses is also doing quite well, too. There's lots of roots through all this. Uh, it's all clear and clean. I mean, wouldn't really expect anything else. It's uh, really early uh, stages for this filter. It has a long way to go before I think it's going to become plugged or need replanting or any of that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd give you a quick update on that. And then we're going to do here is switch over to its scores, just to refresh your memories. And then we're going to get on to this week's contender. So here are the scores. I mean, those are good numbers. Uh, it's going to take quite a bit to uh, eliminate it. So I thought I would give it a bit more of a challenge. So this is the matten filter. This is the second matten filter I built. This is the modular one. Uh, you see the three finger holes there. That cartridge comes out. And there's two mattens, uh, back and front, and you can clean one, obviously, and uh, then switch them. You know the routine, so you can keep the biological filtration uh, at its max. It is currently running on this. This is a 15-gallon uh, guppy tank that I'm raising up some guppies in. Uh, they're obviously being fed quite heavily, uh, but they are tiny. Uh, so it's not really being uh, strained or stressed or whatever, uh, but it is doing a really good job. Uh, I haven't had any issues with uh, algae, haven't had any issues with the plants not growing properly. And obviously it doesn't need to be cleaned. That's the other thing I do when I uh, build a new filter. I run it for at least a few months without any cleaning whatsoever just to see how it uh, gets dirty, how it, you know if it requires anything special. And this one hasn't so far. It's got a bit of algae on the top of the stacks. That's obviously unimportant, uh, and it's doing uh, really quite well. So let's get on to scoring this. First up, of course, is its biological filtration capacity. And if any of you guys have worked with uh, matten filters or uh, large sponge filters, uh, you know that they're very good at this. Uh, this is their forte. This is where they're uh, at their best. And... It has an awful lot of surface area. It has uh, doubled up because I have the two sponges in there as well. And, I mean, this is obviously not testing it. I mean, it's not being uh, stressed at all. Uh, but it is very good at keeping the water stable. I mean, looking at the uh, leaves of the plants and everything else, there's no fluctuations. There's no algae buildup. Uh, there's no cloud to the water. The fish aren't stressed at all. I mean, I could obviously uh, test the water, uh, but with the regime I keep in my fish room, uh, nothing's really going to show up anyway, so it's, it's not really uh, necessary. I usually tend to look at uh, how the community in the tank is doing to know how well the filter is doing. So this is going to be at the top of the list. This is going to be uh, getting very good marks. The rolling drum filter got an 8 because obviously it's a very good biological filter. Uh, the hob got a 7 because it's just slightly uh, less than that. Then the 5 stage got a 6 because, um, well, it, it probably should have got a 5, but that's okay. Now this is going to be near the top. It is definitely going to be at least an 8. Um, whether or not it's a 9 is the question. Whether or not this is um, better than the rolling drum filter. They pretty much have exactly the same amount of surface area because the other one had two rolling drums and this one has two pads. And then the, the rolling drum has access to a lot more wet dry aspects which will give it more oxygen. 
So I suspect I'm going to have to give this uh, not better than that. This is going to have to probably be an 8. Simply because I know it's better than the Hob. And, I mean, giving it a 7.5 just sounds silly. Uh, so we're going to give this an 8. And uh, this will put it at the top of the list for that, at least. The next category, which is mechanical filtration, is probably going to be the hardest to score this on. The problem with uh, matten filters uh, when it comes to mechanical filtration is the same thing that gives it a really good biological filtration score. It has a lot of surface area. So when you're pumping the water out as I am here on both sides, it has, even though it's a fair amount of flow, it has an awful lot of surface area to go through. So it really doesn't form any kind of suction, not like in a box filter or any kind of tray system where the water is uh, heading down on top of it and, and is forced through by gravity. So the flow through is slow, which is great biologically because it gives the bacteria and algae and everything else that grows in these things time to have a meal. But because it doesn't really suck hard, uh, it doesn't, uh, well, we'll pick anything up off the bottom, that sort of stuff. So it really can't get the kind of score that, like, say, the, the two tray systems got, the rolling drum and the five stage. Uh, they got sixes. Uh, they're obviously not the best either, but they are better than this. But this is better than the hob because it does actually have uh, a mechanical aspect to it. There is a sponge there. It can be cleaned. And you can remove material, and of course, you know, it uh, will actually remove material, especially anything that is suspended in the water column. So I guess I have to give it a score between those two. So the hob was four, and the other two were six, so this is going to get a five. Well, that gets the hard one out of the way. Definitely let me know below in the comments whether you thought I was being uh, fair with this. I mean, especially those of you who have worked with the filters before. It was, it was difficult for me to stick this in, uh, definitely in between all those other filters. Uh, but let's just, we'll figure it out in the comments below, and we'll see what you guys think. So next one is cleaning, and whether or not uh, this thing is going to have any issues that way, or, of course, with its ability to, uh, you know, wear and tear on parts. Madden filters don't need to be cleaned very often which is another reason why it doesn't really get much of a score for mechanical filtration. Uh, it will probably be a little while, especially on this tank, for before I'm going to have to pull out one of the sponges and clean it. But it will have to be done. Uh, it is easy to do. Uh, it's only going to take a few minutes to rinse it out in some tank water, uh, put it back in. Uh, as far as cleaning goes of the lift stacks and whatnot, uh, I made them specifically so that they can be taken out easily and replaced easily. Uh, there's no mechanical parts for wear and tear. Uh, so this is actually going to get really good marks for cleaning. Uh, the five stage uh, got an eight uh, because, you know, again, there's nothing really that can go wrong with it. I think this is probably going to get a better score than that. Uh, the rolling drum filter uh, obviously is mechanically <laughs> difficult to keep running, uh, so it got a really low score. Uh, the hob is easy to maintain, but eventually it will require being taken apart, replanted, and everything. So it also got a really good score. Uh, I think actually in this particular case, this has to get a higher score than all the filters so far because this is actually very easy uh, to maintain cleaning wise no moving parts that need to be replaced uh, and because of the way I do the lift stacks uh, they are easy to take part and run a brush through so I'm actually going to give this a 9 the highest score yet for uh, cleaning so let me know definitely what you think about that too that only leaves commercial viability now as is, that might be a small problem because it does take up quite a bit of tank space. Uh, it is in clear acrylic, so you get to see all the algae and dirt and stuff like that. But instead, if I built this out of black and it were in the back, of course, instead of on the side like this, and uh, with the black acrylic and the black sponges in the back of an aquarium uh, with plants and other stuff in front of it, it'll actually uh, hide quite well. And, of course, because it's internal, there's no leak issues whatsoever. It's air-driven, so that's also not a problem. Uh, it would actually uh, 
score much better that way. So I'm going to score it based on that because you know, this version obviously isn't the one that has to be. So the five stage got a one because obviously it's way too big and all those issues we talked about. The rolling drum filter, again, same sort of problems, got a three. The hob got an eight because it's external. Uh, but okay, and of course there are some issues with that. So I can't really give this an 8 because it does take up a fair amount of tank space. Uh, but I think it does deserve a really good score. And definitely way above 5, so probably a 6 or a 7. And uh, because, uh, again, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work out in the long term with all the other filters coming up, I'm going to give it a slightly less score than I probably should have. I'm going to give this a 6. So that's pretty much the end of the scoring for this. Um, it did quite well. It got a total score of 28, which is the highest yet by, well, one. So slightly better than the Hob, for my opinion, but my opinion doesn't count. You guys are going to decide uh, which of these two filters is going to be the winner, uh, so let me know in the comments below, and let me know what you think of the, both of the builds, and uh, as always, if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.